So I converted the Fighter 130, the one from Full Speed RC, into this frame. This is from Tomoquaz. This is the Sonic frame. For Actually, it's for 2.5 inch props, but I'm using the King Kong 2.8 inch props in the back, and I trimmed down the front ones to 2.5 inch. So the back can take 2.8 inch, and the front can only take 2.5 inch. But you can see here, you got uh, the roll bar cage style. Framing it. it's kind of similar to the Airblade Eclair V2, uh, just a little bit some a little bit different design. The bottom plate's two and a half millimeters, two the two side plates are two millimeters, and I just took all the parts out of the Fighter 130, except for the camera, which well, was out of focus and I I was not able to uh, fix that. So I decided to swap everything into this frame, and then I can then use a uh, run cam microswift here you can see one of my favorite cameras and all the other parts the motors ESCs the flight controller the receiver and the video transmitter were all from that build or from that RTF and then I took the VTX antenna um, I removed the one that was on the little stubby one it was kind of too short and I put a little longer one here this is from uh, Actuna. This is called the V Mini, and I'm testing some of these out. And it's just a another a type of linear uh, antenna. Should get some slightly slightly better um, reception than a typical linear antenna. So just added, just swapped that antenna out and swapped all the parts into this frame. Pretty similar size. The Fighter 130, obviously 130 motor to motor. This is 128 motor to motor. So it's a little bit smaller, but arms are a little bit thicker, um, or wider, and also thicker. These are two and a half millimeter arms. The Fighter 130 only had uh, two millimeter arms, so probably more prone to breakage. And actually, I heard uh, stories of people breaking those. So this is going to be a beefier frame. It's a little bit heavier too. I'll get you a weight measurement here in a second. Uh, just put my rubber bands on the bottom for battery. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that I did switch out the connector here from JST to XT30 because I, I will be uh, running this on 3S. So I'm thinking that uh, these King Kong props, which I don't think run so great on 2S on the 1104 series motors, will probably run better on 3S on these 1106 motors because it's a heavier prop, thicker paddle, so it's going to require a little more motor torque to get these to spin up faster. So I think these 1106 motors will probably do better. We'll see. Um, they just, I thought they were a little under propped on the two bladed three inch props that were provided with, with the uh, Fighter 130. So I'm thinking this three bladed prop might do better. Well, let's see, just an experiment of mine. And plus it matches the yellow, so why not? So just a couple of notes on the, the Sonic frame itself and the build. It's, um, somewhat difficult to get the side plates into the notches. There's some notches, it's a little hard to see, but there's notches here and in the back that secure the side plates to the main plate. Uh, they were pretty tight and I had to file them down just to get them in. It took a, it took a little bit of a time, so if you have that problem with yours, you're gonna have to take a file to the gaps and then widen them up a little bit so you can get the, the side plates on. And then uh, I did pretty much everything like the diagram that came with it said, except for uh, the very back here. This is be a, a nut here that goes to a screw that, that holds down the back part of the two side plates. Uh, instead of using a, a zip tie here that goes through that hole and also uh, to my uh, battery lead to give it strain relief so that in, in a crash, if uh, the battery is ejected, it's going to pull on the zip tie, not on the solder pads on the ESC. So thought that was a little bit better anyway and uh, a little bit a little bit smoother and it gives me a place to put the zip tie to secure the battery shop. So if you guys are looking for an alternative use for that hole, this is what I would recommend doing. I'm going to have the battery lead go like this and then the battery is sitting here and the battery lead from the battery is going to go around like this to the side. So it should be nice and out of the way. Okay, so yeah, this comes in at about 80 grams. So yeah, the frame's a little bit beefier, so it's a little bit heavier than the Fighter 130. I think that was like 76 grams. Um, you can check that video card in the corner if you want to see the weight. I don't remember exactly, but I think it was about 76 grams. So it's a little bit heavier, but I think I definitely would take the extra weight because you get a Microswift here plus a more 
sturdy frame. This is, I think, a better setup than the Fighter 130. But I think I like the components on here, so I think it'll fly pretty good. So in regards to the um, setup here, I did flash uh, the latest Betaflight uh, 3.2 RC6. Uh, put a card in the corner here uh, if you want to know how to flash Betaflight 3.2. And I also flashed the ESCs. Again, I'll put another card up here if you want to know how to flash your ESCs. And then if you want the config for this, I'll put a CLA dump in the description uh, if you guys want my PIDs. Um, probably going to be running some pretty low P and D gains on 3S for this setup. But I'll put that down there uh, at some point and you can pick that up there. So all I have to do is flash Beta Flight 3.2 to the flight controller, flash the uh, latest Beal Heli. Uh, 16 at 67 to the ESCs and then you, and then then obviously copy my C light up and then you'll have my setup for this drone. Sounds smooth. Let's give it a quick punch out here. Wow. There's some fluttering on the prop wash. Right there, you can hear that. Probably could lower the D a little bit. Probably will do that for the FPV. You can hear the fluttering on the prop wash, but it's still flying smooth. The motors are going to be warm, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of power. I think these um, 1106 motors definitely wake up on a bigger a bigger prop, or three-bladed prop, and uh, 3S. I'm flying the 450 GMB that I have been recommending for these two and a half inch bills. I think it's a good prop for this size, or a good battery for this size. Very responsive. Recovers very easily. It's good power. Should fly a PV pretty well. And motors are pretty warm. Gonna have to lower that D, I think. So I just went ahead and I changed my PIDs here on the D just to get them a little bit lower for those um, for the prop wash and I think it helps. Um, I didn't really notice as much during the FPV flight so if you want to use those PIDs feel free to go ahead and do so. Um, just kind of getting an idea of the power of the props and this motor setup and you know I'm not quite as impressed uh, on the FPV as I was in the line of sight and you know Again, these King Kong props are disappointing me. I just don't feel like they have the punch out power. Now they have they have power on the initial probably when you know when you're like in, down the lower end lower end of the pro, uh, lower end of the um, uh, throttle range, like you know say between ten percent and 30, 40 percent. But then when you get above fifty percent throttle, the power doesn't seem to be there. It seems like the power is kind of falling off and and I can I can tell that when I'm trying to do these power lifts that I'm just not getting the the, the power that I expect for 3S and these motors and that KV and this size of a prop. So uh, you know it look I mean to, to, to someone who doesn't really know about micros and props and stuff they're gonna look at this and think that this this looks like it's really fast but I can tell that it could be more. So I'm probably going to be switching out the props for something else. Um, I'm hoping the new gym band 2.5 inch props come up pretty soon because um, yeah, I'm just looking for better props out there. If you guys have any other props that you could recommend, I'm thinking maybe I'll cut down some DOS uh, 3045s and uh, something like that. I kind of want to stay away from, I know the Rotor X 2535s are going to be good. They're, they're always going to be good. But uh, 
you know, they're very expensive and uh, I, plus they're kind of hard to find. It's kind of one of the reasons why I'm not using them right now is I, I'm pretty much out of them and um, they every time I crash they break. And I've been looking around a couple places I've been trying to get them at, on Amazon don't have them right now. So definitely need to find some better props in the uh, two and a half to three inch category. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave me some comments down below and let me know where I can get some good ones because yeah, I know these King Kong 2.8 inch props are popular, uh, but yeah, I don't I don't buy it. I don't think they're that good. I don't think they're that efficient. And I don't think the power is there on the top end of the throttle. I want I want better power uh, from the 50 to 80 percent throttle range, and I just don't I just don't feel like I get it from this prop on this setup at least. So maybe there's a better setup for it. Maybe I need to go to, to even a, a you know a bigger motor or go to like an 1106. I don't know lower KV on 4s. Who knows? Just throwing some ideas out there, but. Anyway guys, I'm going to end this review here, but overall I think this frame frame flies really well, I like it, um, no complaints, and I'll be flying it a lot more in the, in the future, so if you have any questions let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.